today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship and fittingly, Everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him. If he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. We get a peek at Tom Brady as he brings out this Tampa Bay offense. And Tom Brady in his 22nd season overall and his second in Tampa Bay. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The rushing numbers for Fournette from last week. 18 carries, 94 yards, and a score. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now. Number three in the league in rushing within shouting distance of the, of the lead. But at the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that, too. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And now this pass brought in by Brown, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. From midfield, here's Brady. This will be caught once again by Brown. They'll contain him to just four, second down. On play action, now Brady. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And I'll bet right now there's just one thought in his mind. Win, Win the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? Two touchdown passes two last touchdown week. Two touchdown passes, but when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in the state of Florida Atlantic. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Allen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Buck 17-yard line. Here's Zach Moss, who played high school football downstate near Miami. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
Allen going to give it to Moss. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Forced out to his left. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. And that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. Singletary. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Touchdown, Bills! It's complete. Dawson Knox with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bills are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run and he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's able to get it up close to the 35, but hang on here. Penalty marker down. This one might be going the other way. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. That'll give them eight that time, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out, things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and that's, that's, saying something. that's saying something right there. But he's earned it. Gronk so tough to cover, sometimes the flag's gonna come out. His size and his ability create a lot of these pass interference calls. If you're trying to go through him to get to the ball, that's almost impossible, and he benefits on the play. Brady's throw there complete. And some room to run now. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. And down inside the 15 he goes. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Buccaneers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now Brady, looking for Brown, and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Antonio Brown hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. 
It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Here's Allen to throw it. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Now Allen. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. On fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. Back deep, Antonio Brown. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. From the 38, Brady. He's got his big tight end, Ronkowski. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. I love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Ali Marpet, the guard, caught there. Now Bernard. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. From the 30 on second down, Brady. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. Touchdown! Chris Godwin, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bucs have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra point put through by Suckham. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. That 7 nothing lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, 
and maybe they can get this game tied up. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Allen, maybe with a free play. This one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Awesome. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you across state to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy Sunday in the National Football League. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. On first down, Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Over the middle, complete. It's Davis. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing now is Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. No dice for Sean McDermott and the offense. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Six yards left on second down. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. Seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from Harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Man open left side is Brown. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now Brady again, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out right at the 35. 
And nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD, got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this will be called officially a 66-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy Week 14. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey where it was the visiting Saints who were able to walk away with the road victory. Alvin Kamara, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And at the half, they are down to the visiting New York Giants. Sterling Shepard, a touchdown catch in that first half. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Sam Darnold, sharp in the victory, as his guys get back within a game of 500. In the game you're watching, it's who else? Tom Brady with a strong first half. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. To throw, it's Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen going to throw. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game case in point right there. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And that is no good. 
And this score will stay right where it is. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Throwing on first down is Brady. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Brady. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. They missed a field goal earlier, so possibly as a result, that's why they're going to try to go for it here on fourth down. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Here's Brady to throw. To Evans on the slam. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Leonard Fournette, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now 21-7. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. To the air, Allen. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. And Dominican Sue in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every round that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Brown. 
And that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And he'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Fournette. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. On third down, Bernard, and he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Fournette, a first down carry. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. Now Leonard Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now a carry for Bernard. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the we feet. Go. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Leonard Fournette, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Buccaneers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator, and they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter, and I don't see them looking back. Extra point put through by Suckham. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Yeah, he is going to go down here, but we also have a penalty marker at the line of scrimmage. They may have jumped the gun. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's Allen on first and ten. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. From the 45 on second down. Allen. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Jason Pierre-Paul. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. The Bills on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Allen. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same... Now, this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. 
Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. He has a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he can do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. So after the INT, it's Brady. Being chased out left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bucks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Brady. And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Bucs extend this fourth quarter lead, and they are getting closer and closer to win number 11. Yeah, have fun with this one, partner. I am. He's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up his right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing. Singletary loses it, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, Same. down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. And he's got this down to the 35. Allen now on first down. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And again, it's Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. 
Throwing again on second down. Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll set up a screen for Breida. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wait, hold a second here. A flag down. Let's see if this will stand. Holding offense. Wow, Charles. That doesn't just take points off the board. That takes a win off the board. So now you have to regroup because you've gone from celebrating what you think is a win to trying to figure out how to do it again and make it a win. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Tampa 